what's up guys welcome back to another video this may be uh, the most important video you've seen in a long time if your goal is to come here and live in Cambodia anyway and we'll talk about what transpired today and how it's going to affect uh, you possibly now if you are a supporter of mine you should have received uh, all my emails from earlier because I always send out all this news, all this kind of news to my supporters first. It's a way of saying thank you. And if you want to get in on that and not have to wait for my public videos, there are links down below to my PayPal, ko-fi.com, where you can join my Patreon. If you donate to any of those, you'll be put on the list. You'll receive my weekly exclusive videos, copies of my books, and of course, all the information like this as soon as I hear it without having to wait for me to upload it'll all be yours so check out those links and let's talk about what has changed in Cambodia all right so there were two big changes two big announcements made one right after the other today as I woke up the first one is something uh, most people have been waiting for even people here we've all been waiting for this to uh, eventually happen but the visas on arrival are now officially back in Cambodia that means if you want a long-term stay visa the e-type visa you'll be able to uh, get one upon your arrival in Cambodia so you don't have to do it in advance if you don't want to want to however if you do want to that option is still available because it should be live pretty soon on their uh, on the e-visa platform the electronic visa platform where you can get a visa in advance uh, there's a link for that down below by the way if that's what you want to do but just like it was before the pandemic you can now just arrive in Cambodia and request whichever visa type you want uh, upon your arrival so that's probably the best news uh, we've all heard in a long time but there was more because today Cambodia also officially announced that uh, having a PCR test 72 hours before arrival and having a rapid test done upon arrival is now canceled so there's no more pre-covid testing if you're coming into the country it's one less thing to worry about you don't have to go get your PCR tests like I said uh, before that was 72 hours before arrival so you had to kind of plan it out and then when you got here they would give you a rapid test just to be sure <clears throat> but now no more not only can you get a visa on arrival but you can you, those are canceled no more COVID test requirements uh, the government has said that they are aware that they've been a little behind in disseminating this information quickly and efficiently to the appropriate ministries and people who need to know who are supposed to implement these changes uh, they get complaints that you know people come into the country and are still being asked for the mandatory COVID insurance which hasn't been a thing since November of last year but they've acknowledged it they said yeah we, we haven't done a very good job but we're gonna try to do a little better but even though these things become official today <clears throat> uh, they ask for your patience as they try to communicate that and educate all their workers that, that work in these different uh, uh, departments about these new rule changes and sometimes that takes a long time here so you might not see the e-visa available in your country on the electronic site right away uh, but it shouldn't be too long before you do also if you are unvac now everything i just said applies to vaccinated travelers if you are unvaccinated 
then nothing has really changed. You will still have to pay the deposit. You will still have to quarantine for 14 days. Um, and you will still have to have the PCR test before arrival and a rapid test done when you get here. So all that will remain the same if you're still unvaccinated. But for fully vaccinated people, you're good to go. It's one step closer to opening the country up the way it was before the pandemic. And uh, in my opinion, I think Cambodia has been very good at that. I think they found ways to slow down when they had to for the safety of the country. But as soon as it was okay, as soon as they were given the go-ahead, they tried to as quickly as possible uh, lessen the restrictions <clears throat> and make it easier for tourists and travelers to come to the country. Let's go, Brandon! Let's go, and, uh, Yeah, we're coming, though. So, that's the situation. That's the dealio. And, uh, hopefully, like I said, this will make you happier and less stressful if you're planning on coming over here plus if you're over here already on a tourist visa <clears throat> since they canceled the ability to convert to another another type of visa in country you should now be able to do that at all the borders so if you're here on a tourist visa <clears throat> and you leave the country and come back in you can then apply for your e-type visa if you wish to stay longer than a than another 30 days So yeah, that was a whirlwind of announcements today. But they're all finally good news. And I know a lot of you are waiting to come over here and I hope this helps uh, push that along a little bit and let you know that uh, I wasn't just making it up. <laughs> I thought, I knew it was gonna be soon, but uh, like I said, a lot of people said it was, they were gonna wait till April. But it looks like uh, it came a, a month early. So everybody should be happy. All right. That's going to do it for this one. Remember to check out all my links down below. Like I said, any donation to PayPal, ko .com, or joining my Patreon, you'll get all my weekly exclusive videos, books, uh, announcements, all that good stuff. <clears throat> all my social media is down below. My other YouTube channel is down below if you're into that. And... Uh, other channels that are vlogging from this part of the world they are all listed down below as well so be sure to check those out and if you just want to buy my books individually there are links to those also whatever does it for you all right from CM Reap thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys in the next